Hello everyone. So uh, for this episode of Game Analysis we have a very interesting game that was sent in and uh, this time the player sent in a loss of theirs which uh, is always tough to do and uh, this was a really cool one because it was against a national master and uh, you know, we learn much more from our losses especially losses against high rated players so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Before we do though I just want to mention one thing um, if you know someone that likes chess, you know, anyone, and they, they want to get better at chess, you know, tell them about my channel, tell them to send me their games so that we can look at them and we can learn. All right, so let's get into this game that was sent. So, e4, d6, and, uh, you know, our, our player is playing as the white pieces, and uh, the national master is the black pieces, so let's, let's see here. e5, d4, we, by transposition, reach the philidor. Knight d7, bishop c4. I myself have never been a big fan of the Philidor as black, because I feel like black just winds up with the the dark square bishop that's a little bit locked in, in a slightly more passive position out of the opening, but it's very playable, very solid, and so that's what I think attracts a lot of players. As the black pieces, they get a very solid and playable position. Okay, black actually makes a mistake here, so this is goes to show you that even strong players make mistakes. This is actually a, a move that... Uh, just a bad move right out of the opening. What white could play right here is just a take, and uh, here's the point. If knight takes, knight takes, we can do this, and then uh, something's uh, not going to be able to be defended here. And also, if, uh, say, instead of taking, maybe, maybe black tries something like this, we still have uh, the same type of idea that uh, we're just... Uh, are winning a pawn out of the opening. You know, if uh, it tries to take back, then we can exchange queens and then take the pawn. All right. So it goes to show you even strong players make mistakes in the opening. Okay. Bishop to e7 was played. White plays for castling. You know, avoid a hassle, always cancel. Solid. Um, knight to f6. And here we go. Here's a very interesting move right out of the opening. So maybe. White didn't play the one move that wins a pawn, but we have this very interesting sacrifice. So, bishop takes f7 check. So this is kind of interesting. I'm always a fan of not sacrificing. But this leads to a very complicated game, and let's take a look at it. So, you know things are, are bad for a sacrifice when the computer starts saying that the sacrifice is good. One is if I say that uh, it actually looks like it's working, and two is if the computer... As uh, both of us, me and the computer, both hate sacrificing. So we'll see here. Knight g5 check. So right now the computer is starting to realize that there's actually something here for the white pieces. And that things are a little bit trickier than at first. You know, at first it doesn't like bishop takes a 7. At least that's what my computer's saying. And now it's starting to be like, okay, maybe the king is not so safe. And uh, the king goes to g6. Let's take a look at what happens if he goes to g8. He goes to g8, knight e6, and then, you know, something's going to get lost. Say the queen runs away, knight takes e7, and uh, that rook is going to lose. Because, uh, you know, obviously the queen can't run to f8, because this knight takes, and so uh, something would get lost. So that's why the king has to be on g6, which is not where he wants to be. f4, the king is in the center, so white wants to obviously break open the center, right? You want to be pushing to try to press in the center as fast as possible. You don't want to give black a moment because the king is going to be vulnerable for a long time. And, uh, you know, he's going to be vulnerable. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's running around, so you want to try to make the most of that time that he's going to be vulnerable. And by, you know, pushing instantly. And you want to try to open it up as soon as possible. Okay. So, 96... Queen g8, knight takes c7, and b6. Really, uh, I think the black should just play rook b8 and try to save the rook. You know, instead of uh, losing it, which uh, white could play. But uh, white actually doesn't take it, but uh, white could actually, what I would do is just take it right away. But developing out the knight, ta taking the idea of, you know, the king's in the center trying to develop is also good. Of course, I me, mean, I would just take the rook. But uh, this is also you know, following the ideas of attacking the king. 
Okay, bishop d7. Let's uh, go here. Bishop takes d5. Uh, the only thing I say here is uh, I don't know if I would have played knight to d5, and here's the reason why. is because uh, if you're down material on a sacrifice, you want to try to keep all the pieces on as, as much as you can. Any exchanges will make it easier to try to get off the attackers and make it easier to defend. In any case, uh, the Black King is still very vulnerable. So let's, uh, let's keep going. That knight looks nice on e6. And uh, if you look, the black pieces are still pretty jammed up. Okay. Rook f3. And uh, here, actually, the black pieces are starting to consolidate a little bit. It's still very dangerous. Black is, is only up one point now, so the material has gotten a little bit closer, but... Uh, Things have started consolidating just a little bit, so let's let's take a look at how it goes. Okay, black takes pawn, queen d3. Oh wait, right here, one thing you can do is uh actually you can take this pawn here because if the king takes the bishop, uh, it's undefended. Um, so you, maybe you could could have tried that. Okay, queen d3, rook hg8, and uh, let's see, let's go through a little bit. There's a move I wanted to look at, okay. So let's keep going, rook takes g7, and yeah, okay, the black king, he, he does look kind of vulnerable because he's moving around, but he does have a lot of pieces around him, so he is kind of safe. You know, he has a lot of pieces surrounding him. And, uh... Okay, bishop takes e5. Another possibility could be maybe maybe queen f5. But let's uh, let's keep going. Things are actually but things are starting to get kind of bad here for for white. Some of the the initiative has has worn off a bit, and so now black uh, the material that black has is going to start to pay off. Okay, um, I don't know if, if black shows them that. I think that black can just go ahead and take this a2 pawn. But anyways, queen d6. Maybe he was thinking, uh, I want to keep my queen closer to the king. Queen e2, king d8. And white plays a4. Okay, uh, one thing you can try here is... Uh, Rook e6 with the idea that uh, this bishop on e7 is not so well defended. Like uh, like if queen d7, you know you can uh, you can take because uh, if takes you can take the queen with check. Or if you know if the queen goes somewhere else, you can you know maybe take the bishop. Or I'm sorry, not not queen c6. That that's just bad. Um, I was trying to show that you can take the bishop, but uh, queen c6 really really doesn't help for that point. Queen uh, queen here does. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, back to the game. Um, okay, a4, c7. All right, and let's fast forward a little bit. There's a move I wanted to get to. Or show. Let's see here. And the queen's getting a lot of checks. Okay, knight g4 check, and uh, now it's the white king that's under attack, and the material is now balanced out for now, but... Uh, well, kind of balanced out. But anyways, um, the white king is now the one that's being attacked instead, which is kind of a really big turn of events. And let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's keep going here. There's one last point I wanted to show. I wanted to say right here, we have queen g5 check, and then black is just up a rook, and uh, you know white does have a few pawns, but it's not enough, and so we play a few more moves on, and then eventually white resigns here. So very interesting game, you know. 
always interesting to see uh, a game against someone like a, a master, like a national master or an international master. So if anyone has any games like those they want to send in, go ahead. It's always interesting, you know. Um, in this game, the international master even missed a few uh, pretty good moves. And so it goes to show that, you know, they can be beaten and uh, they're not invincible. They just, uh, you just need to catch them. And uh, if you can catch them in a mistake, then uh, maybe you can get a win. All right. And this game was also really interesting because lots of sacrifices took a long time to kind of go through it. But uh, hopefully it didn't take too long. All right. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, you know, send me your games. See ya.